Now that quarantine restrictions are being lifted, I'm out of the house and I'm in the Blue Mountains to visit the editor of the Australian Photography Magazine. We want to find out what the publication is all about and how the pandemic has affected the photography industry as a whole. Mike, welcome to this special episode of Snap Happy. Now tell us about the Australian Photography Magazine. Well, Australian Photography Mag is Australia's only monthly photography magazine. We've been around for 70 years this year. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Um, and our main aim, I guess, is to make people better photographers. We have tips on taking better images. We do profiles on photographers. We do reviews on gear. And we have a bunch of competitions as well so people can enter their work. It's really important to us that we showcase other people's work, Australian photographers, and that's a big part of what we do. So you are a keen photographer yourself, tell us about that. I'm a journalist by trade really, and so that's what I've always done, but photography was always a part of um, a lot of the writing I did, and I, I've always done a lot of travel photography. When I was younger I travelled a lot and started to get a lot of my travel uh, photography published, um, which is sort of what gave me my break in the industry. Um, my passion has always been with travel photography, I suppose. I really enjoy uh, wildlife photography as well. And I've travelled a lot around the Middle East and uh, parts of Central Asia, which are really special to me. Places Beautiful. like Iran or Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan and weird places like that. <laughs> um, and so my experience of photographing places in that part of the world is something I've always really loved. Have you got a favourite image that you just hold close to your heart and go, wow, and it just brings back so many memories? Yeah, I, I guess my experience of, of photographing the people that you meet along the way and how that you can look back on those photos now and go, oh, that was the time I you know, hitchhiked a ride with that crazy dude <laughs> who ended up having dinner with his family yeah. in his village or something like that. That's the stuff that you, you know, makes photography special, I suppose, and it, it can remind you of those those Moments. really amazing times, yeah. yeah, which were super weird at the same time. <laughs> but also fun. Yes, but also fun, <laughs> yeah. How would you say the pandemic has affected the photography industry, good or bad? I'd say it's been tough, like not to try and sugarcoat it at all. Um, I know a lot of uh, journalism especially has really, you know, suffered through this. To me, it really shows the importance of supporting the little players. A lot of the photographic community in Australia are small operations like AP or like Snap Happy even. Um, and we're the ones who, who won't, you know, will struggle and will need to really work hard to ride this out. So my advice and hope is that people will support the little operations, go to their local camera store, go on a photo workshop, enter a photo competition, do the little bits like that that can really help. So Mike, Photographer of the Year competition, it's huge. Tell us about that. Um, yeah, so we've been running it for eight years um, and it's the largest competition for amateur photographers in the Southern Hemisphere. This year there's $30,000 in cash and prizes. Um, and it's a portfolio competition, so what we ask entrants to do is submit their four best images on a bunch of different themes. Um, and the best image will take out the title of Photographer of the Year for 2020. Amazing. Now, do you have any hints or tips for anyone looking to enter? Well, no. I mean, it's it's difficult to enter a competition. E everyone will know that. I think the, the challenging thing for any entrant to do is to try and into something that surprises the judges, you know, an ordinary subject captured in an extraordinary way or a interesting framing on a subject or a story, that kind of thing. Because it's a portfolio competition, we're asking photographers to really think about how their images work together. We're not after just one image, but we want four that tell a story and work as a cohesive set which is a difficult thing to do. Um, but that's really the key to a winning series is looking at how all your images work together and the story that they tell. Looking forward to it. So Mike, thank you so much for your time today. Stay safe Pleasure. and stay creative. Thank you.